it's Leah from A Thousand Year Home and uh, today we're going to be doing the unveiling of the stonework that uh, Steve and I did yesterday. So um, it's pretty cool. We did like four rows and then we put the cement um, like mortar and then we did cement. So um, you want to help unveil this and see how it looks yeah so like leah did uh 90 of the work on it so it's zip tied that form is zip tied it's from an old feed bucket so i'll cut the uh, the straps real quick leah will peel it off we'll take a walk about and see uh if it worked so by pouring the mud inside there you know we saved a lot of time rather than make a pier and then brick the pier it's not a veneer it's actually it cast moves. You got it to move. oh yeah that what the pipe that we did we we broke this seal while it was drying a couple yeah. of times. So let me go ahead and cut the straps. Okay, here we go. Okay, love. Ta -da. Yeah, wow, that looks really good. See, so we did one, two, three, four, five, uh, five layers and it ended up turning out really really well so well I, I see like there's a little bit of uh of the spot Opening. there is... really good leah did a great job on that yeah. so how long do you think we it took us to do that um i think well you know we did it in i think two hours we started at noon but the well, we, other it wasn't one wasn't two hours straight so we did it we took a break oh, we did take a break and yeah. then we came back out so about an about 45 minutes each uh -huh. time I think it took us to do it so and if you look down here it has the cool uh oh, yeah, like fossilization of let like me, seashells hold on it was not cut in let me zoom in on that spot yeah look it has all the the seashells yeah you you deliberately turned them I tried. right so that they the only like problem that. is is we have this gap here so we'll have to do something with that she, she thinks that's a problem i think i'm gonna okay. right behind that is just concrete right? it is it's it's completely yeah, sealed so, so. I, you know i think it gives it a stack stone mm -hmm. i like the one little iron uh stone in the middle of all the sandstone mm -hmm. that was your idea now that's native right this yeah. this is native well these all are these are yeah. two but see that little concrete overspill would you peck those oh, off yeah, yeah. Oh, see, those come off super easy. And it's coming off because it's only a day old. Yeah. If it was more than that, uh, then it wouldn't. There's some more around the backside. I see a little spill there. Yep, there you go. So once she has ah! that cleaned up, yes. That's you, not what you want to happen. No, you don't want to whack the stone. Yes, you don't want to whack the stone because they're not mortar. So I that know. concrete's not as sticky. So when I pour mortar, I'll fix that. There you go. I'll fix it when I do the oh, uh, top stones. Okay. I'll mortar it in. Very good. You can leave it on the ground. Oh, my OCD will not have it. Uh, honey, I'll... I'll... <laughs> okay. You're Today's just going to make it worse. <laughs> <gasps> Let's breathe in. Breathe I'll out. I'll get the mortar in, uh, when I do that. Because mortar's sticky and cement's not, right? I know. And so it wasn't made for that. And then the capstones, we'll take a look at this one. See the capstones, these aren't done yet, but they'll have a drip edge. So mm -hmm. they'll be mortared in and they'll come over the top. So um, and on that one, I did the same thing. I had one knock loose. Yeah. And it's the little ones that didn't have a lot of surface that did that. Just so um, in fact, I think yours looks better than mine that I did all myself. When I look at that, they're a little more uh, tight, closer together. Well, but we were doing it as a team, so this yeah, is a big, yeah, a big yeah. difference. When you I work as a team, you, them, yeah. you were cutting and stacking. It's harder. It that. took longer, mm -hmm, and yeah. the results with two people doing it is a lot faster and more and more efficient, and it looks better. It does. It Although does. yours looks really good, so don't don't be too hard on yourself. Well, I want I want to do is do this up there in the pasture where the wrought yeah. iron fence is. So, what do yeah. you think about the whole project? Would you do it again? Yes, I would. Yeah, I, I, I would too. Yeah, well, we're going to do it up there. I'm so pleased we're just, with this. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot faster than casting up here and with the tabs and then mudding out of the tabs. But as you saw, it's not quite as durable. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said when we were making it, you know. But um, I think that I could even bump into it a couple of times with a trailer and it's repairable. I would just simply mm -hmm. glue the rocks back. Well, this on. is just, it, we still need like 27 mm -hmm. more days. So. And would you. Uh, with the the top that smooth top like that would you um still do capstones i think so uh, the 
the capstones are a lot prettier, but this it does look finished and it'll work. So it that's does look really finished. so what you could have done is instead of leaving the stones visible, you could have just went to the edge of the whole thing. Well, you know, we could have so. took chips and we could have stuck chips mm -hmm. in there and, and it would have kind been of rough, exactly. made a rough and chipped. Yeah. That would be a nice look. Yeah. I mean, you could still if you wanted. No, no, no. And my arm's a little sore. Well, I started a new uh, video, so either this will work or it won't work.